In this video, we're looking at how to find the area of the triangle when we are given the three coordinates. So there's different formulas for finding areas of triangles when you're given the base, you're given an angle. In this particular question, you're given the three coordinates. Now the coordinates are basically the corners of the triangle or they're also known as the vertices of triangles. So vertices just relates to the corners of the triangle. The aim of the game here is that we're gonna map one of the corners to zero, zero, because as you see here in the formula here in this yellow box, it only has an X1, Y1, an X2, and a Y2. So you can see that there's three coordinates, but we're only actually gonna use two of them. So let's have a look at an example. So this question wants us to find the area of the triangle created by the points 2, 5, 4, 2, minus 1, minus 2. So it's sometimes useful to kind of give it a sketch first of all. So let's sketch this uh, triangle. So our first coordinate there is 2, 5. So again, this sketch is just to help me or yourself visualize. It doesn't have to be a work of art. Uh, 4, 2. And my final coordinate is minus 1 minus 2, which is down around here. Again, it's just a sketch so I can visualize what I'm actually working with. So that's our triangle. Like I said up above, the aim of the game here is to map one of those coordinates to the center of our coordinate graph 0, 0. Now, it doesn't matter which one you want to map to 0, 0. It doesn't matter. So my coordinates, I'm just going to write them out. So my answer here is going to be, so my first coordinate is 2, 5. My second coordinate is 4, 2 and minus one, minus two. And like I said, it doesn't matter which one you want to map to zero, zero. I'm just gonna work with the first one here. So I'm just gonna draw arrows underneath each one. Now, like everything in maths, whatever I do to one thing, I have to do to the rest of them. So I'm looking here at two, five. How do I make two, five become zero, zero? So if I look at the two, how do I make two become zero? I take two away from it. So I'm just gonna put a little minus two here. And my coordinate then will be zero comma. Now, how do we make the five become zero? We take five from five, because five take away five is zero. So there's my first coordinate mapped to zero, zero. Now I have to do the same thing to all the coordinates. So on my X, I took away two. So on my X, I have to take away two. And on my X, I have to take away two. On my Y, I took away five, so I have to take away five, and I have to take away five. So you can see here that I'm being consistent, taking away two from the X's, minus five from the Y's. Now, it doesn't always have to be a takeaway, it can sometimes be an addition. So just watch whether you're trying to add to get to zero or take away to get to zero. Now, when I finish out my other two coordinates, what's that gonna give me? Uh, four take away two is going to give me two, so that's the X on my coordinate, and then I'm going two take away five, two take away five on my number line is bringing me to negative three. I'm then coming to my final coordinate, and it is minus one take away two, which is giving bringing me to minus three. And I have minus two take away minus five, which is bringing me minus two take away five is bringing me to minus seven. Okay, so you can now see that we have our three coordinates and I have zero, zero, two, minus three, minus three, minus seven. Again, I'm just gonna come over here and sketch that just for myself. So zero, zero is the center of my graph and that's the aim of the game here is to always get one of them at zero, zero. I have a two minus three, which is down around here. And I have a minus three, minus seven, which is down here. So you can see that all I've done is basically moved my triangle. It's still the same shape and same, same size. All I've done is basically moved it um, from one position to the other. So you can see here that these corners have been mapped. You can see that I'm just basically moving my triangle across my coordinate graph. Okay, so coming back to my three points, I only have to work with two of these points here now of the three. You always ignore the zero, zero. So I'm just gonna put an X through the zero, zero. I'm now finished with that coordinate. I don't work with it anymore. With my other two coordinates, I'm now gonna label them X1, Y1, and X2, Y2. Now it doesn't matter which coordinate you call X1 and Y1 and X2 and Y2, just be consistent. And now I'm gonna fill those two coordinates 
into my formula. Now my formula for the area of the triangle when I'm given three coordinates is half x1 times y2 minus x2 multiplied by y1. Now that formula is in your log tables and a couple of things we're just going to look at here. It's always half because it's half of a rectangle for the area of our triangle. These square brackets are absolute values. Uh, so that basically just means nothing complicated. In maths, basically the formula is getting us an area of a triangle, which may be a negative answer, but we know in reality that the area of a triangle must be positive because it's the area. So it basically just means we turn our answer into a positive answer. And filling in our formula. So what does that give us? So we have half bracket x1. Now our x1 is 2. So again, I'm going to just put that into a bracket multiplied by y2, which is minus 7. So just be careful here with the signs in your brackets. And now subtracting x2, which is negative 3 multiplied by my y1, which is also negative 3. It just happens to be the same in this question. So that's giving me a half bracket. 2 multiplied by minus 7 is giving me minus 14. So I'm just going to put that in a bracket again. And I'm now going to subtract minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. Now a minus multiplied by a minus is giving me a plus 9. So just you can hopefully follow there that this minus here is this one here. So just be careful with the double negative there. So I'm now going to basically just do a little bit of simple arithmetic there now. So minus 14 take away 9 is going to give me uh, minus 23. So it's a half times negative 23. And a half of 23 is negative 11.5. Now you can use fractions if you want. I'm just using... Uh, decimals. And as I said, these square brackets mean that you have to turn your answer into the absolute value, which is turning it into a positive 11.5. Now, we don't know if it's meters or centimeters or kilometers, so I'm just going to call it square units for my coordinate graph. So the area of this particular triangle is 11 and a half square units. So that's the area of the triangle when we're given the three coordinates. Just make sure you have to map one of the coordinates to zero, zero. You then ignore it and you work with the other two.